I so so. Uh, been a frustrating 14 months for Darren Barker. Back with a bang. It's been a frustrating week for this man. Carson Jones scheduled to top the bill against Lee Purdy. He had to pull out with flu. The American gave Kel Brook the scare of his life in July, of course. Answering the call. Three days notice. Ireland's Dean Byrne. In his 18 fight career, he's travelled the globe and spent time in LA at Freddie Roach's Hollywood gym. Here's the uh, start of that one. Well, this isn't the fight Carson Jones, the American in the silver and black trunks, was expecting when he landed in London on Monday morning. He was due to fight Lee Purdy over 12 rounds for uh, an IBF international title. And a win there might have put him back into the world picture. But he got to his hotel, took a nap, was woken up by a phone call to be told Purdy had flu. He had to pull out. And so instead, he now gets an eight rounder against a very late substitute here, Dean Byrne from Dublin, but he really has been around the block. He's been all over the world boxing as, uh, as Byrne, and he's coming at very short notice here, Jim. And the last time he did that, it was a bit of a disaster for him. He took a, a fight at a day's notice. Frankie Gavin pulled out against a French southpaw, Frank Harosh Water, and he retired on his stool and uh, has never quite been the same since. Well, he looks in good shape, so I'm wondering maybe if he was in training for something else. I haven't heard that that's the case. But, uh, you know, he certainly looks lean and, uh, you know, the opportunities won't come to, the, to this fellow too often, so he must see this as a huge chance, but a chance worth taking. And uh, Jones made a lot of friends. His last visit here, that terrific fight with Kel Brook, he started slowly that night, although that was over the 12 round distance, and he's uh, just kind of nursing himself into this one. He's taken a couple of right hands already. So it's as though he's just having a look at Burn at the moment, just taking his time. He was in training, Dean Byrne. He was supposed to have a six-rounder next week in Essex. So, as you say, he does come in in good shape. And as you say, it would be a good scalp to claim if he could and get himself right back in the mix. This is a guy, Dean Byrne, who turned professional when he emigrated in Australia back in 2006, had his first half a dozen fights there, picked up a... The national title, then went to the west coast of America, boxed out of the wild card gym. Freddie Roach is reported as saying he had world title potential. But uh, the last couple of years, he's been back closer to home, originally from Dublin, but he's had his last three or four fights in the UK. Two of them defeats, but he had a win last time out against Kevin McCauley. Won every round there, a four-rounder, and really needed that. Well, Jones has been, been manoeuvring him around the ring in the opening round here, but not really letting an awful lot of punches go. When I mean, you get the impression one said Jones does really set down to work, that he's going to inflict some pain, but it's just, uh, just a kind of scouting mission, just getting them into the positions to let the punches go, but not really letting them flow as yet. Motivation must be so hard for the American as well. You come in expecting one thing and here you've got a or whatever fight and if you look good everyone would expect it and there is a risk that you could look bad as well so the first three minutes safely negotiated for carson here. jones from oklahoma city the top. i want to see him here and when you throw that, just go ahead and let it go. It doesn't matter where it lands, just let it go. You understand what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Now it starts to circle around you, bring no, them back with the right hand. He's saying pretty much what you were saying, Jim. Yeah, a little scouting mission there, but time to just let the punches start to flow a little bit. Make sure that you don't look for something. He's tidy, competent and capable, isn't he, Jim? Whether he's world-class remains to be seen, but there's a lot to like about Carson Jones. Yeah, but uh, once he wants to the task, uh, you know, he's exciting. He really has a good, aggressive, exciting style. But, uh, yeah, as I say, that was a scouting mission. He just wants to let some punches go. Very good. Just make sure that he works. So, Burn, some of his boxing was a little bit nervy in the opening round. This is a big occasion for him. But uh, he performed reasonably well. Round two of eight. Carson Jones from Oklahoma City in the black and silver. Dean Byrne out of Dublin, getting through with a decent right hand there to start this second round. Again, first of the punch. It's a positive start, this from Byrne. And we wait to see Jones come out of his shell. 
Just trying to get a few rangefinders going with that jab. I mean, Jones is stalking as opposed to, to pressurising, then that was a punch, it wasn't much of a punch, but it was certainly long after the call to break. He was going to have to just waken up a little bit, Jones, now using the shoulder there, Jones, and the blind side of the referee, no, I think he saw it, I think there was a little word from the side of his mouth there. Another left hook from Byrne getting through, and all those wide hooks from the Irishman. Jones continues to stalk, but it's Byrne that's getting the punches off. Not everything getting through, but enough is getting through. And with Jones just being really economical in terms of his work rate, it's a useful round again for Dean Byrne. Yeah, and, and because uh, Jones is on his case, he's actually forcing Byrne to let the punches go, and when he lets them go, they're landing, not always uh, completely cleanly. But when uh, there's not much coming back from Jones, uh, looks to me like he's giving Byrne a little bit of a, of a start here tonight. Double jab. Rodding jab, jab. Again. Effective this from Dean Byrne. Yeah, and you must say, kind of disappointing from Carson Jones, taking punches he shouldn't be taking. And then uh, boxing at the wrong pace, moving into range but not letting the punches go. Well, he must be flat, Jim, and we can understand that, but he has been talking to the promoters and they say that they're going to bring him back around March for part two of Lee Purdy. Hope they can both be healthy. So there's plenty on the line here yeah, for Carson Jones. They can't bring him back on a loss here. I mean, this would be a disaster for him, so he's going to have to start performing. We're into the last minute in the second round, and really, we haven't seen too much from him. Walking on to silly punches and missing wildly with his own. Oh, telegraphing him as well. Byrne doesn't look like he's too bothered at the moment by this pace. And Jones being a little bit predictable, to say the least. Looking for body shots. Uh, at least there's a bit more purpose in the punches he's throwing look at, now. Look at, look at that right hook that he attempted afterwards, Jim. He was wide open to a counter when he missed by miles. But the timing's way off for Carson Jones here. And again, well, Byrne just hustling away. And Jones looking absolutely disgusted. Okay, you're looking, you're looking too much, OK? Now, you keep missing over the top, what's the alternative? Change the angle on it, right? Make it a 45, all right? Uppercut. Yeah, more than uppercut, more than 45 more in here. Okay, but, but plan for it. Don't just throw it because out of desperation. Plan for it. He's going to do that. Faint the right hand and bring it up the other side, all right? This guy starts getting out of breath after four, so you can take it up after that, right? Well, that, that tired, right hand right? that Abel Sanchez is talking about there, I mean, it hit so badly, Jim. It was unbelievable, really. It just doesn't seem to have his mind on the job. He's kind of laid back. He's treating this like a bit of a sparring session. And uh, he's missing wildly, he's getting burned out. That was when, uh, when he threw the little jolting Corner. punch long after the call to break. But there uh, are really some wild and wide punches from Jones. Round and he's taken too many on the way in. Well, round three, and it can only get better for Carson Jones. His best little spell in that second round was when he threw a combination to the body. That got through. But it's been limited in what he's done, and he's looked a little bit frustrated, a little bit angry, you can understand that. Have a couple of words in his ear from the referee, and again, look who's out making the fast start to the round, it's the Irishman, Dean Byrne.